Hello developers, welcome back to the channel. Today in this lesson we will look into this Artisan Test Runner. This is a new feature added into the Laravel 7. Now in Laravel 7, in addition to the PHP unit, we also have PHP Artisan Test command. Both PHP unit and Artisan Test command does the same thing. But this PHP Artisan Test give us more information regarding the test. Let's see this. In the editor, I am in the fresh installation of Laravel 7. And in the fresh installation, we already have two example tests. This is the feature test. And in the unit test. Now to run this test, in the terminal we will run vendor bin php unit. And this is how it shows the test results. Now if we run the php artisan test. And this is how PHP Arts and Test show the test results. With more information like this is the test class names and this is the tests in every class. Let's create one more test and see this. Example test. Here let's do the same thing. Now if we run the PHP unit and in this PHP unit we got three dots for the three tests in the our application. And in the PHP artisan test, here it has shown the two tests like this in the unit example test and one test here in the feature example test. Now if our test fails, now in the PHP unit, it shows the error message like this. But in the artisan test, Now in the artisan test, it is a nice and clear view where test failed. This is all in this new feature and everything else is the same as we do with the PHP unit. Now I want to also show you that how you can configure this PHP artisan test with your Visual Studio Code editor. Usually when you write test, after writing test, you switch to the editor and then run the test to see the test result. And it is a very tedious process to switch between editors and terminal. So to solve this problem in Visual Studio Code, we have extension better PHP unit. This one, I have already installed this one. After installing this extension in the editor, I have modified the keyboard shortcuts to run the test. So to modify it, here I'll open the keyboard shortcuts preference. Right here we will search better PHP unit, this one. On click this button, you can give the any keyword shortcut you want to give to run the test. Here I have given the control T and control shift T to run the last executed test. After this, we are ready to use this. Now here I am in this test. So to run this test, I will press control T and this will open the terminal of the editor and run the test for us. And here it has shown the result. The test is failed. Let's run the test again. Now the test is passed. Now here if we see it is running the vendor bin php unit command. But here I don't want that. Instead of this I want to run php artisan test for this. So for that what we can do from the keyboard I will press control comma to open the settings. Now here I will select workspace and now right here I will click this now it will open the settings.json for us. Now here I write better hyphen php unit dot php unit binary and here I will pass php artisan test. That's done. Now this time if I run control T, now you will see the difference. This time it has executed the test using php artisan test and test view is changed. Same thing if I run the entire suit, it will show the test result like this. Now let's fail the test. Then test again. Now here is the nice view of the test. This is all in this lesson. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.